Elon Musk is a cautious man when it comes to artificial intelligence, but that won't stop him from unleashing one of the most powerful neural networks the world has ever seen. Over the years, cars have evolved from complicated mechanical machines to smart appliances that even children can learn how to use. I'm not saying that they should, though. In the future, driving is only going to get easier, especially with the rapid-fire development of AI and autonomous driving that's happening right now. It's likely that eventually it'll make no sense for a human to drive a car because the cars are simply better at driving themselves. Granted, this fascinating and revolutionary tech is still in its infancy, but Tesla has already been super successful at it, putting cutting-edge autonomous driving features into all of their cars. You might have already guessed that running a Tesla on autopilot needs a lot more processing power than your dusty old laptop. And you'd be right, Tesla uses powerful computers inside its cars to run its self-driving software. In the summer of 2020, Tesla's iconic CEO tweeted, Tesla is developing a neural network training computer called Dojo to process truly vast amounts of video data. It's a beast. Just recently, Tesla's director of AI, Andre Kaparthi, casually revealed a new supercomputer that Tesla will use until the neural network Dojo is up and running. Tesla believes that their new computer, which mind you is just a precursor for Dojo, is the fifth most powerful supercomputer in the world in terms of floating point operations per second. According to Andre, the cluster sports 720 nodes, each powered by eight of NVIDIA's 80GB model A100 GPUs for a jaw-dropping 5,760 A100s throughout the system. This accelerator firepower is complemented by 10 petabytes of hot-tier NVMe storage, which has a transfer rate of 1.6 terabytes per second. You'll be glad to know that one of those bad boys is made up of 1,024 terabytes. This is some serious processing power. It's starting to sound a bit like Skynet. And remember, this isn't even its final form. Just how powerful will Dojo be? If you're wondering why Tesla needs a crazy expensive and powerful supercomputer, it'll all make sense in a minute. You may already know that Tesla uses an advanced driver assistance system called Autopilot. This set of features allows the car to utilize eight outward-facing cameras to gather data about the vehicle's surroundings and when engaged and where applicable, perform steering, acceleration, and braking controls under driver supervision. Most people assume that Tesla's Autopilot system is actually fully self-driving. But it's not. It's a system that uses partial automation to bridge the gap between manual driving and the fully autonomous future that we all dream of. Autopilot uses information gathered from all Tesla vehicles on the road to improve its driving choices. Every time a Tesla drives silently through your neighborhood, the city streets, or the open country, its exterior cameras are constantly collecting data on the outside environment. The car's onboard computers study this data and make predictions of how to behave in any given scenario without actually sending commands to the car itself. All the information gathered by Tesla's EV fleet is shared on a machine learning architecture called a neural network on the supercomputer. The predictions are then recorded and sent back to Tesla to determine if the decision was correct or if any data was misidentified. If there are any irregularities, then the data continuously runs through the supercomputer, constantly tweaking its behavior until it processes without any mistakes. All of this effectively trains Tesla's autopilot. So yeah, if you didn't know, now you know. Tesla's can learn. But if you think about it, why wouldn't they? They can dance after all. It's worth noting that there are a few different technological paths that can be taken to achieve autonomous driving. Do you know who's known that for a while now? Tesla's competitors. Some of them make use of remote sensing methods like light detection and ranging, or LIDAR, while others use radar-based sensors to help pick out hard-to-see obstacles on the road. A combination of both technologies with cameras involved as well is also a growing favorite among autonomous tech makers. It's no secret that they haven't been quite as successful as the EV giant that is Tesla. But then again, who has? Typical of Elon Musk, Tesla took a very I'm-going-to-do-my-own-thing-and-do-it-much-better attitude toward its autonomous driving system. Tesla believes that vision-based image recognition using only cameras is the key to affordable and reliable autonomy. As consumer-friendly as it may be, their method of going about self-driving is actually quite self-detrimental and riddled with technical hurdles on paper. Perfecting vision-based autonomy is difficult. It requires the use of a continuously improving system that can quickly adapt to new and ever-changing road conditions. The same system must also be capable of of sharing that information with all the other cars on the network and do the same thing all over again for a different car and another one and so on and so forth. You don't even have to think twice about it. This kind of processing takes nothing less than a supercomputer. If you sort of crunch the numbers and do a little bit of moon math, you'll quickly find out that Tesla isn't messing around. 
This unnamed supercomputer is most definitely one of the most powerful machines in the world. It's Tesla's third supercomputer, so you already know they've got the hang of it by now. This is their most impressive system so far, and by all indications, it'll be their last one before introducing Dojo to the world. We'll obviously be mentioning this new supercomputer a whole lot, and calling it new supercomputer just isn't working for us. So let's just call their newly launched supercomputer Baby Dojo. Because, well, Tesla hasn't given us its name yet, and why not? That said, Baby Dojo will be used to train both Tesla's patented autopilot and its full self-driving or FSD AI. Speaking at the Computer Vision and Pattern Recognition Conference 2021, which is basically Comic-Con for AI enthusiasts, Andre stated that Computer Vision is the bread and butter of Tesla's AI team, and it's what enables the highly acclaimed autopilot system. For the computer to work well, a massive data set is needed, data which is conveniently collected from the ever-expanding fleet of Teslas on our roads. That's not all, though. Since you also need to train massive neural networks and experiment a whole lot before you can get the autopilot to work just right. I'll bet you don't think of all that when you turn on the autopilot to impress your friends or terrify your parents, huh? Tesla uses its neural networks to label the 4D video data it receives from the cameras fitted in its cars. This data is then used to train the software to enable autonomous navigation using its cameras and radar. However, in May 2021, Tesla moved to a completely camera-based system and dropped the radar sensor in its Model 3 and Model Y cars. We're pretty sure it's obvious by now, but if you hadn't caught on yet, Tesla's long-term goal is to build autonomous cars with better navigation skills than the average human. During his presentation at the conference, Tesla's senior director of AI showed the audience a slide of a photoshopped brain in the driver's seat of a speeding car, captioned with a bunch of statistics. The stats characterized humans as meat computers with a 250 millisecond reaction latency and a tight control loop with one-ton objects at 80 miles per hour. According to Andre, for Tesla, full self-driving is about replacing that sluggish computer with a safer and faster one, and Baby Dojo is the latest step in that direction. With all the success Tesla has been seeing from its camera-only autonomous navigation, it's easy to see why Tesla is so excited about Baby Dojo and Elon is so invested in bringing Dojo to life. The industry standard when it comes to autonomous technology is definitely LiDAR. Elon's thoughts on LiDAR? Back in 2018, the Tesla CEO called LiDAR a crutch, and he definitely put his money where his mouth is earlier this year when Tesla got rid of the last supplemental LiDAR radars. Going for cameras over LiDAR not only consumes a large amount of processing power, but also requires significant storage in order to stockpile the 1 million 10-second video clips that are used to make up the proprietary Tesla dataset training for autopilot. Get this, the clips alone need 1.5 petabytes of storage, whereas the system itself is capable of hoarding approximately 10 petabytes of data on ultra-fast NVMe flash storage. According to Elon Musk, the colossus that is Project Dojo is slated for release later this year. Touted to be the most powerful supercomputer in the world once it goes online, Project Dojo will be built on proprietary Tesla silicon that is specifically tailored for neural net model training. Dojo's computer architecture will also be built and designed in-house by Tesla. Since Baby Dojo uses NVIDIA-based GPUs, it doesn't appear to be linked to Project Dojo. Tesla has done a great job at keeping its work under wraps, and to this day we know very little about the specifics of Project Dojo. But if its predecessor Baby Dojo here is anything to go by, we're gonna see one hell of a supercomputer by one hell of an EV company. How close do you think we are to having fully self-driving cars on our roads? Let us know all of this and more down in the comments below, and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Well, that's it for us. As always, thanks so much for watching, and until next time, welcome to the future.